Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. Last year, the government spent two and a half billion dollars on scientific research. But what exactly constitutes scientific research and who gets to decide? Cheryl Atkinson spoke with one politician who secured 11 million dollars for a grape research center in his home state. And one critic is not happy. How badly needed is the New York Grape Research Center? They already have one. Well, they have one, but it's very antiquated. I mean, it goes back many, many decades. And this is one that is beneficial, not just to New York State, but it's going to be beneficial to the entire grape industry across the country. For New York State, it's something like a $7 billion industry. So uh, just the agricultural aspects of it. And uh, if you talk about the winery, you, you see that there are about 3 million people who visit these wineries every year. And roughly a third of those, a little more than a third of those, come from outside the state. All of that has to do with promoting the economy and making things better. But upgrading the quality of agricultural products, including grapes, I think is a very important thing to do. But in times of a tight budget, the Grape Research Center is not in the same category as roads and bridges and basic needs. Well, it is. It's part of basic needs because it's part of the basic infrastructure of the nation. In this particular case, it's part of the basic agricultural infrastructure. And as I believe, I think the agricultural infrastructure is the most basic because, as I, as I mentioned before, food and fiber is what keeps every human being going. If you don't get the food and fiber every day, then your life is going to end. Practically every research project could be made to sound like there's a glimmer of hope in it, you know, something good that could come of it. But when you hear about the limited research dollars, and we're, we're focusing perhaps on the tiny grapes that they've created and the, with the winemakers up in, in mm -hmm. New York and, and so on, from a scientist's viewpoint, what do they think about, about seeing this money going toward this industry-type research where some very important, for example, climate change research may go unfunded? Well, science is always a gamble. And even with the best peer-reviewed projects, there's never a guarantee as to what kind of research results will, will come out of it. But, you know, the scientific community thinks that if you are interested in having the best available science with the highest chance of success, you should go to the peer review process and let the, the scientific experts in the field decide which research projects are the most promising for the nation.